What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. What? <laughs> uh, anyway, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, Jeff and I are here in Fort Lauderdale, sunny Fort Lauderdale, and we are headed to Cuba. Uh, just a pro tip guys, if you guys are flying in on Southwest Airlines uh, into Fort Lauderdale, um, First of all, make sure you give yourself a little bit of a layover time. But uh, pro tip is that if you guys are actually uh, going to exchange some currency um, flying to Cuba, um, more than likely you're going to fly into Terminal A. The currency exchange is in Terminal B, which there's no really easy way to get there, so you just kind of go outside and walk to Terminal B. Um, Correction, uh, you fly into Terminal 1 and the currency exchange is in Terminal 2. So it's a little bit of a walk, uh, so give yourself a little bit of time uh, to walk there and then give yourself a little bit of time to do the actual currency exchange because it, sometimes there's a line and sometimes uh, it does take a little while. So um, yeah, just a little pro tip there. Um, if you're on your way to Cuba and you kind of just forgot to exchange currency, which sometimes happens. Got a little bit of a layover here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, so we're gonna grab some food. What are we gonna do next? Food, some, probably some drinks, probably some food. Uh, a little bit of good rum. Yeah, and then uh, and then we'll be headed. Uh, we'll be in uh, Havana in about an hour. So uh, first line of business once we get there, uh, hop in a, in a taxi that's gonna pick us up at the airport. Uh, and then we will be on our way probably to the Airbnb and then quickly to our first uh, cigar shop uh, El Ahibe and uh, pick up whatever they have so um, Yeah, really looking forward to this. It is an awesome day uh, here in Fort Lauderdale So it's probably gonna be an awesome day in Havana, Havana too. So uh, Yeah, let's get this thing started So here's a uh, travel tip number two to Cuba is bring a pin you will have uh, about three different types of documentation that you'll have to fill out. One is going to be your visa. Next one is going to be your declarations page. And the third one is going to be your health insurance. So make sure you bring a pen because there's a lot of paperwork. That is the one thing that I've learned about Cuba is they love paperwork. So bring a pen. We won't have any problems. Alright, finally made it through customs, got our bags about an hour later, and we're uh, running over here to exchange some money real quick and then be on our way. Travel tip number three count all your money <laughs> at the exchange. At the exchange. While please. you're standing there. <laughs> While you're standing there. I was actually just shorted $100, and I'm not sure exactly which side of the, the <coughs> spectrum it was on, whether it was at the currency exchange in Fort Lauderdale or the currency exchange here. Um, but somewhere or another, uh, I was actually shorted 100 bucks. All right, guys, just getting back to the Airbnb here uh, from our first uh, cigar shop. Um, got in uh, to Havana probably about 6 uh, p.m. Uh, our driver dropped us off at the Airbnb, and then we walked immediately down to the street uh, to our first cigar shop. Had a pretty good score. Um, picked up a couple boxes that probably wouldn't have been able to find uh, otherwise. Um, but uh, let me show you what I got. Box of 25 Cohiba Siglos. All the uh, combination boxes. Uh, one's the Pyramids. Uh, the other one is the Robusto. Uh, Magnum 54s. This is from uh, Trinidad Fundaderos. 25 Robustos, Cohibas. Leon Julia Wise Churchills. Some Punch Punch. Uh, two or three boxes of the Monte Cristo number twos. Monte Cristo Churchill. On Yehados. Um, my buddy Jeff picked up a box of Espanditos and a huge selection as well. Um, so we're pretty much set uh, as far as um, cigar selection goes and everything like that. So uh, pretty excited about our first night. Uh, we're gonna call it a night, get some rest. Um, it's probably about 10 30, 11 o'clock here in Havana and then um, tomorrow morning we're gonna get up do a cigar run, maybe hit up the beach if the weather's okay. The weather's kind of iffy right now. Um, outside it's a little bit cooler, uh, wind's blowing, so man, it, the beach is about 50-50 right now. So anyway guys, um, stay tuned, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow holds as far as the, uh, the different cigar shops. So have a good night.
Morning everybody. We're just sitting here uh, on the patio of the Airbnb uh, finishing up breakfast. Uh, plan for the day is that we're going to hit up uh, the cigar shop that's right across the street. Uh, see what they have to to offer and then um, I'm going to hop in a cab and then we're going to go around to different uh, cigar shops uh, like Habana Libre, um, the National Hotel, stuff like that. So we're just going to bounce around until uh, basically we run out of money. Buen día. He said, I, re I remember that guy. <laughs> good deal. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Sí, sí. Sí. Oh, smell. I've been sitting all night. I mean, the, the secret for the cedar, I know, is the, the cedar has a special oh, smell. Yeah. I mean, for the insect. Yeah, absolutely. It smells so good. Take your time. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. That'd be, that'd be great. Se ve que ellos son conocedores de tabaco. Me gusta porque saben lo que quieren. Es como, son como niños cuando entran un beso de caramelo y chocolate. Pero cuando tú llegas a un tipo que no sabe ni cojones, para venderle. Para venderle. Ellos ahora van para otras, para otras casas de abajo, Carlos, a buscar, eh, Mira, por ejemplo, le faltó el cubillo espléndido, le faltó el monterito número 2. Ahora te voy a hacer una cosita y yo dije, la marina es mi guaya, ¿qué voy a llamarle? En la marina. Mr. Carlos said that if you want, eh, he can call to the marina, marina, eh, marina cigar house. Uh -huh. I mean, if you want, eh, for example, for Iba, for Iba, Espléndido, Montesquieu número 2. Voy a preguntar, ¿qué quieren ellos que buscan? ¿Cohiba Espléndido o qué más? En tu caso, ¿do you want Cohiba Espléndido o Montesquieu número 2? ¿Do you want buy some something? Sí. Voy a llamar a la manina a ver si lo quieren. He tried to, to call to the manina. Ok. So we just got done uh, at the, um, La Casa de Habana house with uh, Carlos Rubina. Um, he's a really cool dude, man. He took the time to, to you know, teach us a little bit about the history, showed us the office, uh, took some pictures, signed some boxes. Uh, so, that, man, man, that is priceless. Um, that's really cool uh, that he actually takes the time to do that with his customers and everything like that. So, uh, right now we're going over to uh, Heming, uh, Hemingway House, uh, cigar shop. Um, they've actually got a couple of boxes of Monte Cristo number two on reserve for me for, uh, from Carlos Urbino. Uh, so we're gonna head over here, uh, probably pick up a couple of boxes of these, and then, um, man, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. What are we gonna do the rest of the day, I think? I don't know, we'll yeah. figure something out. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll, uh, we're probably gonna walk around. Uh, we'll do something cheap. <laughs> Maybe walk around uh, Malik Cohen or something like that and uh, just kind of enjoy this beautiful day uh, here oh, in the This place we call him Marina Hemingway. Hemingway, the American, the American writer. 
Man, this place is awesome. So if you look just on the other side of that peak right over there, that's actually the ocean. Um, it's like there's nothing over there. Except the ocean. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's the ocean over there, and it, you can it see. It looks the, angry. <laughs> you can see that the waves. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. They are angry. You can see the waves crashing on the side because it's pretty windy outside there. So uh, that's that's actually the reason why we're not going uh, to the beach. So Ooh, big yachts over there. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a thing of beauty. getting back to the Airbnb and we're going through some of the stuff that we picked up and a couple of the highlights uh, here's a uh, box of uh, Roman Alones uh, de Gigantes uh, apparently these are uh, pretty hard to find down here um, actually got a box of Robina uh, Famosas that were actually signed by Carlos you guys will see that in the video too so that's a really cool little deal I might actually uh, might have to keep those for myself and just uh, put them in the humidor and leave them there for you know 10 20 years and see but uh, also picked up uh, a couple more boxes of the uh, Monte Cristo number two boxes of 25 and uh, pretty much let's see what else um, that's some uh, Partagas Lusitanias Interesting to see what these things look like. They're supposed to be really long as you can see the the box is pretty big and then uh, let's See what else? I found the shorts uh, Everything else is pretty basic. So uh, but yeah, that's a we had a really good score today uh, went to the um, Marina the Hemingway Marina um, Which have never been over there before uh, Carlos Rabina actually called over and reserved uh, some of the Monte Cristo boxes uh, which that was super cool. Uh, very, very, very much appreciate that. And um, I can't say enough about that guy. He's a super cool guy to talk to and uh, loves everything about these cigars. And um, man, he is just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the history of these things. So uh, definitely going to be picking his brain more often when we come back down here. All right, our next stop is, uh, is one of my favorite spots here in Miramar. Walking right down here to the beach, a uh, place called Seven Days. Uh, Santa Diaz. So uh, we're gonna go down here and grab some lunch, probably grab some drinks, smoke and uh, a smoke a cigar. We got a custom roll uh, from the ladies that uh, we bought a bunch of cigars from, and uh, so we're gonna try those out and uh, just kind of waste away this uh, this beautiful day here in Havana. Going on about two o'clock right now. Um, Sun goes down about six. We'll grab some dinner later, and then uh, early morning we head out for the airport. So um, the cigar shopping's over. It has been a successful trip, and uh, people are starting to stare at me. So I'm gonna end this right now. Man, we are. Uh, that was an awesome, awesome lunch. Place called Seven Days, right here on Miramar. And uh, now Jeff and I are just walking down Fifth Avenue, uh, right down in. We're, Basically every house in this little block or two is a um, Some type of a country embassy So we're actually staying right across the street from the French embassy. They've got Colombia. They've got uh, Ecuador they've got I Can't even tell you what that one is But the biggest uh, one is st. Lucia and the biggest and oldest Yeah, they got one up the street called st. Lucia. It's about God probably two or three stories high uh, gorgeous building. Everything on the street is just immaculate. Um, seems like they take the most care uh, of these houses, of these embassies on the street. And uh, this street is always immaculate. Also safe to walk down. So now we are, uh, we're just going to take a little stroll over to uh, one of the cigar shops that we stopped at last night. 
Um, there's a lady in there that said she might have something special for us. Uh, she also was the one that gave these custom rolls. And uh, so we're just going to stop in there, maybe have a, uh, have a drink with them. Uh, maybe smoke a cigar and just kind of chit chat, pick their ear. So uh, they're always good people to talk to and uh, they're always really nice to deal with. So. so this is one of my favorite things probably of Cuba. And this is actually on the walk down to the Alahibe uh, cigar shop that we go to. But check out these trees. These trees are over 100 years old. Branches just grow straight down and then into the ground. Become part of the root system. Yeah, these things are phenomenal. Let's take a closer look. You see all the. These are actually alive. Growing straight out of the branches that grow down back into the ground. I mean, you can actually. Look at that. That thing is just so cool. Good morning everybody. Hope you're having an awesome day. We are in the Cuban airport. Uh, Jose Marti. Just made it through uh, bag check, customs, everything like that. Um, well, our last travel tip for this is uh, give yourself plenty of time. You know, the, the Cuban lines, uh, the efficiency isn't quite what it is in the U.S. Um, so if you have time, uh, I'd say probably give yourself at least two hours to make it through um, the check-in line and then the customs line. Uh, in our case, we're bringing back some cigars, so we actually got pulled out of line uh, to show the receipts and everything like that. So make sure that if you do bring back a large quantity uh, of cigars that you actually have your receipts and they're ready uh, because they more than likely will pull you out of line um, and you got to you know they, they might go through all your bag all your uh, cigars to make sure every single one uh, are on the receipts so pro tip keep your receipts give yourself enough time um, short flight here from uh, Havana to Fort Lauderdale probably about 45 minutes and we'll be back in the States um, but man, we had an awesome time. Last night we actually went uh, back to a cigar shop, El Jaribe, and uh, ended up sitting there for about five or six hours just talking with the guys that were in the shop and the shop owner, uh, Leticia and Daphne. And man, we just had the best time. Uh, man, they, they, between those two, so knowledgeable uh, about the cigar industry and about uh, the country. Um, man, we just learned so much from them that uh, we'll definitely be coming back and uh, hanging out with them again next time down. So, cannot complain about that. They also took us to a fantastic seafood restaurant right on the water uh, by the marina. It was actually kind of close to where we went to uh, yesterday at the cigar shop at the uh, Hemingway Marina. I had no idea where this place was at, no idea it was even there. Um, little alley, little house, you had to walk down a long hallway, uh, through a locked door, man, it was, it, just incredible there's no there's no way possible that we would have even known about this place if we wouldn't have talked to those people and uh, made friends with them so awesome trip um, looking forward to uh, getting back home getting everything inventoried and uh, seeing what we kind of uh, seeing what we're working with as far as cigar wise so um, hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my travel vlogs I'm gonna be doing a lot more of them in the future uh, I know I did a travel uh, a travel vlog for Cuba the first time I came down here. Uh, the second couple of times I didn't come, or I didn't bring a camera because it was only coming for a couple of days. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll end it right here.